Hi guys and welcome back to Just Some Sophie, the channel where I have no idea what I'm doing still after three months. I haven't a clue. Um, so today's video is a little different to what I have posted recently and by recently I mean last year. <laughs> um, I haven't been very well, a lot has gone on so I've been completely distracted with more important things. Um, and obviously at the moment there is a global pandemic um, so many of us are in isolation I have been in isolation for the last two weeks um, I have to go out to get my medication and to get food once a week which is fine and I'm pretty sure that's what you're allowed to do when you are on lockdown so I have a feeling lockdown is due in the UK very very soon because unfortunately we have a lot of people here without common sense or basic knowledge and brains to realise that they're risking spreading it further and, and making some people severely ill and potentially dead. Um, so this is just a little different video from the usual um, because I feel like I needed to post. Uh, I keep umming and ahhing, I do apologise. <laughs> um, I am very tired. I don't know if you can tell. Thankfully, this lighting does rather disguise the uh, designer bags under my eyes. It's about 21, 23 years of not sleeping <laughs> um, very well that uh, gets you bags like these guys. So you got to start catching up. <laughs> um, so I these are some body shop things that I picked up through Alice friend of mine who I met through the lovely Beckett who I have done embellishment swap with, swaps with um, and normally I wouldn't deal with MLMs but to be fair Body Shop has been a reputable shop for a lot longer um, and from what I've seen of it you don't have to buy you don't you know you don't have to pay to be involved you don't have you know that there is no upfront costs you don't have to pay 300 odd quid to join um, and to get the starter kits and things like that so personally it's something that I will quite happily spend my money on um, I'm quite happy to do it through people I know um, and again I love body shop what can I say if Lush started doing the same thing I'd be buying from Lush as well um, I'd say Body Shop and Lush are by far my two favourite sort of skincare-y type places. Um, but unfortunately we don't have... We do have a Body Shop relative... We have Body Shop in Hereford, but there is no Lush nearby. I have a feeling the nearest Lush would be Birmingham, possibly Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury. I'm going to get told off for that one. <laughs> Shrewsbury. Um, but I'm not 100% about Shrewsbury because I haven't been in a very long time. Um, so yes, this is a very small haul of bits. Uh, the first stuff is stuff that I chose myself. Oh. Um, I got a Balkan Juniper hand wash. I like the packaging because I can reuse it because I'm a cheapskate. And if I can reuse something, it's going to get reused. And this very much will. Um, I've also bought one for my grandma. Um, I just like the shape of these things. I'm weird, it's fine. <laughs> um, and again, this wasn't a planned, planned video. Um, it's sort of one of those things where I know that I need to upload. What can I upload? Oh, I haven't opened these yet. Let's do this. <laughs> and so Body Shop have started doing mini masks. So teeny tiny little pots of I think all kinds of their face masks so this one is the Nicaraguan coffee intense awakening mask um I have ordered a full size one of these so I don't even know if this is going to get picked up probably not but it's like a tiny little 15 mil pot yes 15 mil pot of the face mask and ooh smells like coffee unsurprisingly um but it's just very dark and sort of ooh, 
kind of looks like chocolate when I've touched it, but I'm not gonna keep playing with it because I actually don't like the smell of coffee uh, that much. Um, but I've heard very good things about this particular mask. And this is a face that needs waking up. This is a face that needs this. So I'm probably gonna do this later and see if it helps because <laughs> that's all I have to say about this <laughs> um, and because I order through Alice we always get lovely little samples and some love hearts and in a little really nice green organza bag I love these because I can put gifts in them and share them with other people um, so the love hearts I'm gonna munch later for sure um, I feel like they are an acquired taste even in the UK but they are a taste that I have acquired, so let's go with that. Uh, also, these, these I think must be new because they have the Body Shop logo on the, there you go, on the top of the, and their little, let's see if I can. <laughs> Alice. I did it! I did it! Okay, there you go. They're like little clip open. I like that. So this one is the uh, the Vitamin C Face Polish, which I actually have and I use on a daily... Well, I use on a mostly daily basis. It smells like orange. Excuse me. It smells like orange. It's really, really good. It keeps the old skin nice and smooth, gets off the dead and just skin that shouldn't be on your face anymore <laughs> um, so it's fantastic smells amazing would always recommend it for sure um these two i don't okay no i haven't tried these so this one is the sheer body butter um and there's just a nice hunk of body butter in that and i do like the smell of sheer butter so i'm going to enjoy that and the last sample is Rose Body Yogurt. I, I've heard very good things about their body yogurts. And I'm not the biggest fan of Rose myself. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. But it's definitely not my favourite. This is actually quite a subtle rose smell. I feel like it's because I don't like rose in sweets. Like Turkish Delight is rose, I'm pretty sure. It's disgusting. Um, and any time I smell rose it makes me think of like Turkish Delight and I hate it so my brain you know what I mean it does the whole relation thing um, I don't know if I'm making any sense in this video or if at all it's interesting in any way I really don't think it is I'm a horrendous mess <laughs> so I apologize greatly uh, to anyone that is going to watch this video uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I did also order, it has been opened because this was delivered to my grandparents' house because I was meant to be there after surgery but it's been cancelled so I wasn't there. But yeah. So this is the £10 sort of surprise goodie bag. Um, and my grandma obviously looked at it to see if the bits that I'd got her were in here. It's not. So now I'm going to go through this and see what bits, because I basically just told Alice to surprise me. So there are several things. Ooh, okay. Um, let's start with these. So the first one is, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it because I will butcher it. Um, but it's a, an, a fresh flora eau de parfum. I won't pronounce it because I don't trust myself. I also have a feeling my camera is... Yeah, it's not going to pick it up the right way round. Let's see if I can fix that in editing. If I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the second thing I took out would be the Youth Concentrate Sheet Mask with three plant stem cells. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, Weiss, Weiss from the Italian Alps, Sea Holly and Christ Marine from the Brittany Coast. Um, I quite like sheet masks, to be fair um so i'll give this a go as well um i love a good sheet mask and to be fair again body shot ones are very good um 
I just don't, I don't get them as much as I maybe should. All right, so there are three more things in here. Ooh, okay, I want to show you this because I know exactly what this is. This is, let's see if I can open it before I mess around. It is a lip thing, lip juices, I think. They're kind of like EOS, but that definitely coloured my lips, didn't it? Or am I just seeing things? It smells amazing. What is this one? Coconut, carrot and passion fruit. That's a really nice combination. That's so nice. Oh, I'm going to... The problem is I'm going to sit and smell it more than I actually use it. Whoops. But I, I've seen these. These are be a very big popular thing at the moment, I think. Um, but I also think they're relatively new, uh, which is probably why they're so popular. Um, the second thing. Ooh, Japanese cherry blossom deodorant. So let's give this a... Ooh. Ooh. That is really nice. It's a really subtle smell though. It is not strong. It doesn't smell like chemicals. It's sort of, it's kind of fruity, but it's also floral. So it's a fruity floral kind of scent. I don't know how else to explain it. I can't place what it smells like. It's definitely something I've smelled before, but I can't think of what it is. I know I've smelt it, but I can't think of it. So I'm afraid the description is fruity and floral, but it's really nice. I really like that. And you can't ever have too much deodorant, especially when there's nothing in the shops. So thank you, Alice. I now don't have to brave any other shops to try and get deodorant in. That's really nice. I might have to get some of that sort of outside of this goodie bag. <gasps> Ooh. Instamat mattifies face foundation lipstick. Oh, okay. So this you, I guess, do you use it over stuff to mattify it or do you mix it in? Use alone on a bare face, dab on top of lipstick or mix with foundation. Okay. Ooh. Now I love a matte lipstick, but I don't have nearly as many as I'd like. This could be very, very useful. <laughs> foundation, not so much, because I do only use matte foundation. Um, and it's also very, very uh, minimalistic packaging. Also, I'm going to apologise for the fact I've bitten my nails. I have had a very anxiety inducing past few months. And unfortunately, I have chewed my nails off again after not biting them for a couple of months. Um, though I have quit smoking completely. Um, that's a very good thing. Um, I stopped sometime last year. Can't remember exactly when. Um, but yes, I quit smoking. So that's a positive. And I have some really nice things from this. So thank you, Alice, for the lovely bits and pieces that I've been surprised with. I will use every single one of them. Um, though I would like to smell the perfume before I talk about anything else. I can never remember how to open these. My great aunt once sent us some perfume, my sister and I, years ago. Some French perfume, I think. It was a really nice, though. And it was in a little one of these. It was so nice. I think I had it for years. I don't think I ever used it that much because it was so nice that I didn't want to waste it. And then by the time I, I got old enough to want to use it it, 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 it was way too late. Okay, so it's a flower. Uh, oh, opening just before twilight. Okay, so I, I is this a tiny atomizer? Oh, oh my goodness, this is a teeny tiny spritzy atomizer. This is pure genius. 
All right, let's. Ooh, I probably put a bit too much on actually. <laughs> okay, that is quite nice. It smells like, I, I don't want to say jasmine, but it is similar to jasmine but almost more subtle than jasmine. It's not a strong scent at all, but I like it. I might have to invest in, honestly, I just want more of these tiny atomizers. This is what I want more of. This is genius. This is the sort of thing you can go away on holiday with. I wonder if I could open it and like refill it over time with like my favorite perfumes. Because that would be amazing and I can take it with me when I go away and I don't have to worry about bringing a whole big thing of perfume with me like <sighs> this tiny atomizer is probably the best thing in this whole lot that's not true I love everything but this tiny atomizer has blown my mind I didn't know they existed even though they absolutely should be more frequently available I just think that's amazing um and that's great and it does smell so good. Um, so yeah, this is Fresh Flora. That's awesome. I'm so happy with everything I got. Thank you, Alice. Um, I will link her Facebook page down below. You don't have to buy anything. A lot of the time it's people sharing, you know, their skin issues. I mean, my skin is oily and dry. She's like, horrible to deal with like some areas are dry some areas are oily you have to use like three different products on each part of your face uh because what works for one doesn't work for another but you have to do it sort of your cheeks get one your forehead gets another your chin gets another it's really infuriating and i've learned that i'm not the only one out there with really annoying and irritating and fury infuriating skin um so I find products that have helped me massively and again you get really generous samples um, you know as you saw with these they're almost full you know you are getting a really decent sample something you can certainly maybe use more than once I mean the Vitsy polish especially a little bit goes a long way um, you know the sample's gonna last three days for me uh, the same with the sheer butter because a little goes a long way with any sort of body butter um a tiny tiny bit goes so far um you know you can't go wrong you know and i save so much money as well doing it through alice um i've placed a bigger order because some of the stuff that i use on a regular daily basis has run out or running out um and so i've put a bigger order in and i'm might do a video if people want to see another video of me rambling and being completely awful at describing the sense of things um but yeah it depends what people want if this is a video that people enjoy then i'll do more but otherwise i won't i'm sorry <laughs> um so to end the video remember to keep hand sanitizer on you and a hand uh, cream because with all this extra hand washing that people i know are doing myself included i have eczema on the back of my hands when i get stressed but it's been triggered and flared up by having to wash my hands more often not having to but washing my hands more often and using hand sanitizer has completely dried my hands out um the one i'm using I th this is one i got at christmas because it's a christmas uh one uh, it is the Juicy Pear uh, Body Shop Hand Cream. <laughs> it smells amazing. Pear products are completely underrated and more people should want them. Um, so yes, remember to keep these things on you. Remember to keep respectful of personal space, especially in these times. Remember to wash your hands. It's common and should be second nature by now, but you'd be surprised the amount of people that don't. So remember to wash your hands, especially if you're going out and touching things or if you've come home and touch things when you're out. Wash your hands, you know, wipe down your bags and things that you have or, and wipe down products as well, like things that you um, have bought 
you know, it may be worth wiping those down as well, especially if you have uh, an immune system issue like myself or are just a vulnerable person, regardless of what the issue that you have is, you know, it, it's worth taking those extra steps to make sure you are not getting sick. Um, so wash your hands, take care of yourselves, try to keep yourselves busy, you know, read books, watch movies, call your friends. You know, there's nothing stopping you from having a three hour phone call with your bestie, you know, or join discord calls and game and, you know, just have fun and, and try not to panic and just remember to be good to others. You know, you're not the only one worrying, particularly not in this time. You know, you're not the only one stressing. Um, remember to keep in touch with people. If you need it, ask for help. You know, if you need it, ask for it. Do not suffer and struggle on your own. I am guilty of it myself. All it does is put you in a worse position to get sick. Um, so, yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. And... Let me know whether this video was acceptable or not. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Keep smiling. Bye bye.